Um, suddenly, we need these qualities that were devaluated and were thought to be, thought to be non-interesting. Uh, in the Epic of Gilgamesh, which is the oldest ever um, written story, um, the, the king of Uruk wants to increase human effectiveness by forbidding people to uh, see their wives and their children. Uh, we still live in, in, in an age where we think that these two things go against each other. Uh, but slowly we're learning that these are actually the things that are important. Now, this is not a bar. This is a Google office. And this is not a break. This is actually during working hours. This is how they work. And this is their meeting halls. And this is how they get to their snacks. And this is where I work. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> but this is a picture of a company that obviously does not want creativity because I don't know what creative moves would ever you know, lost its, lose its way and visit this place at all. This is the time of accountants. This is the time of lawyers that is becoming less and less important. And it is actually the kind of a uh, new philosophy that I'm trying to demonstrate with Google here. Now, okay, so I've uh, you, taken a quote from Nietzsche, whose picture is right here. Of course, this is, those of you who study philosophy uh, will recognize in this a Platonic thought. Plato was a Greek philosopher who believed that mind transcends the matter, and if he lived today and he looked at uh, the history of our economics, he would also say, okay, mind transcends the matter because we no longer make our money on matter, we make our money on mind. Now, I'll close with this thought. Um, Nietzsche divided three stages of, of, of personal human development, and I've, um, maybe fully, but you will surely correct, correct me, I've tried to apply this to a whole history of, of mankind from inside of an economics. So the first stage, Nietzsche says, is the, um, uh, the, the, the age of a camel. Camel is somebody who burdens himself, who is a hard worker, who needs a muscle, and he is willing to travel and actually work through a desert, uh, being uh, burdened by all sorts of uh, merchandise. Then comes the lion, an age where you revolt against everything that's possible. You fight, you attack, and you don't, it is impossible to cradle uh, a, a lion. And the third age, uh, says Nietzsche, is the age of a child. Now, child no longer wages wars. Child no longer cares about anything. Child wants to play. It wants to be entertained. It wants to create. Uh, Nietzsche says the child wants to dance. Now, my age, when I was reading these uh, lines from Nietzsche, it reminded me of our age, of our postmodern age, where, where we um, like to be entertained uh, more than worry about anything that's very serious. I thank you for your attention. <laughs>